everyone and welcome to this year's Halloween reading which is for one of my lovely patrons Nicole who um, was part of the monthly lottery that I have each and every month on my channel and if you're interested in entering the lottery for next month um, you can do so by uh, pledging two, four, or nine dollars, and you can find all the details in the description. And uh, this reading type that I'm about to show you is also available on my Patreon and PayPal. And um, if it's obviously only available for a limited period of time because Halloween is, you know, virtually only uh, up until the 1st of November. So after that, you miss the uh, this window of opportunity to take a peek behind the veil. And so the theme of this Halloween reading is communication with the subconscious and um, so what we're gonna do now Nicole is we are going to start with a question anything you that you have on your mind that you would like to ask the cards whatever it may be whatever you'd like to ask your own subconscious mind anything that comes to your mind at this moment just allow the question to linger within your mind and Allow it to occupy some space in your consciousness right now while I'm shuffling the cards. And I'm just gonna spread the cards and we're gonna try to find the card that is going to give us the answer to your question. So this reading is basically centered around a uh, dialogue that you can have with your subconscious. So let's just focus on our breathing. Let's slow down and allow the card to manifest. Here we go. So, the answer to your question is basically a fiesta. This is the Four of Wands, and it's one of the happiest cards in the tarot. And this is the spookiest tarot deck that I own. And even in this deck, this is a very positive card. So, Nicole, it seems like your question has received a very positive response. The Four of Wands, Wands being fire, and the number four 
representing stability and inclusion. The Four of Wands is a card of celebrating the moment, being with people that you love, and just really getting into what you're passionate about. And the Four of Wands is also kind of like a gateway. So you're on the threshold of crossing over into this much more joyful, much more passionate, and much more open chapter in your life. So you're definitely on the right path and you're being guided and introduced into a community that will welcome you and will make you feel a lot better about yourself. So when it comes to the Four of Wands, it's always about entering the next level. And there are many cards that represent development in the tarot, but some of them are, are very painful and include a lot of struggle. But the Four of Wands is telling you that the answer to your question is that it doesn't have to be too hard. It doesn't have to be too difficult to make good things happen for yourself. And you'll be surprised at how easy it is to go in the right direction. You'll be surprised how effortless this change is that is taking over your life and how much joy it's going to bring into your existence. So now, it's the subconscious mind's turn to ask you a question. Okay. So the next card is going to pose a question to you. And actually, I'm just going to look for one of these little items, these little shells. to help me pick the card for you. If someone can enlighten me as to, as to what the name of this thing is, I'd love to hear it. I have no idea what to call it. But we're gonna use it to determine the question. I think we found it. Eight of Pentacles. So this card represents the question that the tarot would like to ask you. The Eight of Pentacles. Pentacles represent the earth element and the eight of pentacles is a card of 
building something slowly. So the question here is, how committed are you? What you need to ask yourself is, how willing are you to give it your all? If you have big dreams and big plans, as I assume you do, because the Four of Wands will only extend a helping hand to people who are ambitious, people who want a different kind of life. But this card is asking you whether you are really paying attention to the nitty-gritty, the pragmatic, earthy details of what you do in your everyday life. Are you really hardworking? Could you push yourself a little bit harder? Could you perhaps go the extra mile and put in some extra hours and put even more effort into reaching your goals? And now that we know what the question is, I would just like you to think about the answer and give it an honest answer, please. So just take some deep breaths and think about whether you could do more in certain areas and if you could, how would you do it? What exactly would you do? Okay. And if you have the answer within your heart, just keep your mind, your consciousness engaged with the answer. There's no need to Repeat it in, uh, over and over in your head like a, man, like a mantra or anything like that. Just keep it within arm's reach. Just keep it in the general area of your thoughts. So now the tarot is going to give you some guidance on this topic. Okay. Here we go. Interesting. The Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands. We have the Four of Wands in the beginning, and now we have the Seven of Wands. So, this is another fiery card, and it has such an autumn feel to it think it's a beautiful card. So, the key here is action. It's not planning. It's not um, necessarily gathering the resources. It's not about um, being emotionally involved. It's all about taking action. And taking action that requires bravery on your part. So, kind of the point here with how you could pay more attention to detail and how you could give a little more effort is 
simply to go in the direction where it feels slightly uncomfortable because the seven of wands is about experiencing the edge the uh, limits of what we think we can do it's also a card of natural aggression being assertive being uh, spontaneous almost cocky so the seven of wands is a sign from the cards that a great way to build your dreams not only dream about them but also build them is to put in the sort of effort that requires you to get out of your comfort zone so that's naturally a very difficult thing to do so obviously you might feel some resistance so right now I would like to ask you to take a few deep breaths again and try to feel where the resistance is think about the things that make you feel shy or timid or intimidated or weak think about all those things that you feel like you don't have the courage to try because you feel like you would be out of place there that's the thing with the seven of wands it has just occurred to me that it's about willingly putting yourself out of place willingly accepting the role of the odd one out being the outsider by choice so think about all those situations that make you feel scared at the moment and please remember to breathe just breathe Nicole you're fine everything's fine what could be the reason that you are so scared of these things let's see let's see what the tarot says four of pentacles another four in the mix and it's interesting that let me just show you on the cards we have so far it's we started with the four of wands now then we had the eight of pentacles seven of wands four of pentacles so it's wands, pentacles, wands and pentacles and that's uh, fire and earth so these two elements are definitely dominating this reading thus far so the four of pentacles alright so 
Um, as I've mentioned, pentacles is the suit connected with the earth element. Uh, indicates everything that has to do with the material realm. And it also has to do with the level of the body. And my first thought was when I saw this card was that you are kind of trapped in some physiological reactions that are a result of perhaps um, perhaps emotional difficulties, perhaps some trauma from the past, but there's definitely an element of quote-unquote realness to it because of the pentacles. So what comes to mind is, is perhaps just an example, so I'm not saying that this uh, is necessarily your case, but it's a similar pattern of, you know, psychosomatic illnesses or panic attacks when there's a, there's an emotional layer and then that transpires and kind of spirals out of control and it becomes a physical thing. And that's what the Four of Pentacles is suggesting here. Is that your resistance is almost, it man, it's manifesting on a physical level to a certain extent. So, just to give you an example from my life of what I'm referring to, and you can certainly related to whatever is going on with you. So these are just the underlying patterns and, you know, the specific manifestations are different for everybody. But the point is that there's, um, the resistance is taking physical form. It's taking the form of a, of a physical bodily reaction. For example, I have noticed that I'm not breathing a lot of times. It's almost like I'm, it's almost like I, I forget that I need to take a breath and I'm just completely still and I'm not breathing. And uh, that comes from stress and anxiety and being intimidated by the world. So, since your resistance is manifesting in some way or another, uh, it can also be, you know, migraines, excessive sweating, blushing, any sort of physical symptoms that you experience that come from this inner resistance and that come to the, the bodily functions, the bodily level and um, create a barrier between you and your goals and your freedom. And so this card is asking you to be even more conscious of these uh, of these physical symptoms, quote unquote. So, I would just like to ask you to, if you can relate to this card, just think of, think of at least one of these physical reactions that feel like a form of resistance to change in the form of, um, like a form of self-sabotage, almost. And just keep breathing. In and out, slowly. 
almost see yourself from an outside perspective going through the physical symptoms of your inner resistance. Observe yourself from the outside looking in. Please observe your body language, your face, your facial expressions. What do you look like when that's happening? What do you see? Just keep that image in your mind. Oh my god. The last message from your subconscious and uh, the tarot, which is basically just a vehicle for the messages to manifest. It's Santa Muerte. This is number 13 of the Major Arcana. This is the Death card. And it's a very, very strong message of consciously allowing yourself to go through these, uh, these physical resistance symptoms and allow these symptoms to kill your ego basically so for example if you're if you're a blusher you you probably know what i'm talking about or if you have any embarrassing you know perhaps you have tics or something like that the uh the physical physiological symptoms of your resistance are so concrete, so inescapable, so defined, and so, just so serious that it feels like you want to, you want to avoid getting into situations where it, they could manifest at all costs. But death card is telling you do not spare yourself the trouble of going through these uh, these symptoms do not try to protect yourself do not try to um, survive the um, the moments of hardship and discomfort that these physical sensations cause because a new self is about to be born a new self is being formed deep within your subconscious mind and this last card is the most important message of today's reading and it's a reminder that if you stop moving if you choose the stagnation, the self-preservation that the Four of Pentacles represent, then it's almost like not living. And that's not the same as dying, because dying is a natural process. And this card here is a symbol for your ego death. So it's a symbol for your um, your current self dying. This construction that you've created that is 
intimidated by certain things that is perhaps a little too scared to try new things but is definitely very interested in making her life better but she's not really sure how and she's wondering where she should put all of her energy in to make more progress to be more efficient and basically here's where the death card the surrendering comes in and it's a good thing this is a Halloween reading so a little bit of spookiness I think is definitely uh, appropriate for the season so the death card as you can see she is pregnant so even though this card represents death it's also a new beginning and so you need to surrender and give up the old self you need to consciously push yourself more you know with uh, the eight of pentacles being kind of a kind of a warning sign or a message about perhaps you could be putting in a little more effort and um, the effort should go towards a more courageous more authentic and more uh, self-fulfilling lifestyle and in order to get to the next level you need to face some of the physical manifestations of your inner resistance and you need to consciously make a choice to um, to experience them and to go through them kind of like immersion immersion therapy in a way so don't try to spare yourself I think is the main message here there's no need to protect your ego there's no need to um, to want to uh, preserve this old self you can bravely challenge it and allow it to venture out into the world and see what it's capable of so this new self that is in the works that is being forged right now is only going to be released if you face your fears and these fears, like I said, might have a very specific, very physical manifestation, but don't let that fool you. Um, it's, it all comes from within. So it might have a physical aspect to it, but it's mainly a spiritual resistance. And your job is to go in the direction where you feel the resistance so that you can be reborn as your new self well Nicole thank you very much for supporting me and my channel and uh, thank you to everybody else who decided to stick around and watch this video and I hope to see you guys in the next video bye bye